Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. In my last tutorial I taught you step by step how to create a Fiverr seller account and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a professional gig image that follows Fiverr's guidelines so that you're most likely to get your gig approved and also to help you get more sales. So before I show you how to create your own gig image for free using Canva, we're going to start with the most important step, which is doing some niche research. You want to find gigs that are performing well in your niche. So to do some research, just go on to Fiverr and then just look for whatever service you are in. So let's say you're a social media manager. You type that in and I want you to look not at the ones that say ad because obviously these people are paying to be promoted. So you want to look at the ones under the ads, people that are performing well. Let's say you're going to be an AI image editor. That seems to be very popular right now. You can just go through and get an idea of what people are doing to create their gig images. Now, one thing I want you to notice is you can see here that the text is cut off in a lot of these gig images, which doesn't look very good to me. So I'm going to show you how to use the proper dimension so that people will be able to see your entire photo and not a cut off version, which doesn't look as professional. And just as a quick example of what to do versus what not to do, if you see this image here, it's not really obvious what this guy is selling. I know it says I will do AI image editing, but here we only see a before, we don't see the after, and then when you click on it, because it's so small and the way it's laid out, I can't really see much of a difference between these two images. Whereas if you look at this one, for example, or this one, or this one, obviously here, it's a pretty obvious difference because we have a blurry photo and a non blurry photo. But in this gig image, for example, you know, he's made it very obvious. He's going to remove flaws from your AI art. And you can see here, he's actually circled what he has done, both fixed the eye and the text here. And you can see this guy has over 136 reviews. So his gig is doing really well. So let's just get started. What we're going to do is go to canva.com. You do not need a paid account. You can do this using the free account. You can use my link in the description below if you don't already have a Canva account. And then we're going to click create a design. From here, you're going to click custom size. And where it says width, we're going to put 1280. And height, we're going to put 769 pixels, okay? So 1280 by 769, then create new design. So we're going to create a gig image from scratch and let's start with picking a background color. Just click on the background, then click here on background color. You can choose any color you want, choose a gradient. If you have a custom color you want to choose, just click on the color wheel. You can make your own custom gradient. I'm going to choose solid color and paste in the color code that I know I want to use. So let's say for this gig, I'm going to sell my services as an image editor. I want to have a space for a before and after and I want it to look even. So what I'm going to do is go to elements and then here type in frame. Click see all beside frames, but you're going to want to choose this square or a rectangular one. From here, go ahead and position it. You can hover your mouse over the side to change the width. I want this to go to around the halfway point and then just drag it at the bottom as well. And I want to leave a little bit of a border. So now what I'm going to do is click on it and then control C to copy or right click copy and then right click paste or control V to paste. And now I have before and after on either side. You can even click and adjust this if you want to leave a border in between. Okay, so now we're ready to add our images. So you're going to click here on uploads, then click upload files, and just upload your before and after image. Now if you're just getting started on Fiverr and you haven't done any work for anyone yet, you'll want to create examples of your work. So build a portfolio of images that you have edited, even if it's not been for work. Just edit some images for your friends or family or yourself and then include them in your portfolio. So now you'll want to put your before picture here, just drag and drop it and then double click on it to reposition it within the frame. So if you want to zoom up on the image, 
just scroll to one of the edge points here. You'll see this circle and then drag on it and you're going to reposition it like that within the frame. So let's say my gig image is that I remove people from photos. I remove ex-boyfriends from your photographs. So I'm going to remove this guy and I want to show that I can do that with my after image. So now I'll click and drag my after image. Once again, double click on it to adjust it within the frame. So something like that. Now we want to add a before and after. So we're going to go to elements. This time I'm going to type in rectangle. Just click here where it says add a rectangle. So you can change the color as we did previously to whatever color you want. And I just want to do something like this and I'm going to put before over it. So now I'll click on text and just click add a text box and then type in before. I'm going to double click on it, change the font size to 70 and then change the text font. I'm going to do Fredoka. You can click here on effects if you want to add a shadow or an outline. I'm just going to make it hollow. So now I want to copy this and place it over here. So the quickest way to do that is click here on position and then click here on layers. And this is how you access all of the objects and layers in Canva. So I'm going to click on the before text, then hold shift and click on this rectangle. You can see how it's outlined both of them in purple. And then I can right click and select duplicate and then click and drag. And now we have before over here. So I can double click on this and change it to after. So now I want to add some elements to make it really obvious that I removed this guy from the after photo. So I'm going to go to elements and for example, type in an X and then click on graphics. So any of the graphics that have the pro icon, you must have a pro Canva account. But for example, this one here is free to use. So let's just click on it. And when you click on it, it will add it to the image. Now this is really important because I want to show you something that you might have troubles with. So I'm going to click to resize this X and when I click and hold it and reposition it, look what happens. You can see it's trying to fill into the frame and I don't want that to happen because if I release, uh oh, well now it's replaced my image. So up here you can click undo or control Z to undo. So to move an element without having it replace the frame, click on the element and when you click it to reposition it, press down control on your keyboard. So press and hold control and now we don't have this issue anymore. Okay. So that's a little trick. Once again, just when you're dragging it, click and hold control. All right. So I'm going to just do that. Make an X here. You can also add a shadow to your element or an outline by clicking on the element, then click edit, then click shadows. So you can add a colored shadow or an outline or a glow. And finally, I want to add an arrow. So I'm going to type in arrow. You can change the color by clicking on the color wheel. I'm going to add a shadow. Once again, when you're clicking and dragging it, just press control and that way it won't interfere. And there you go. That looks great. So you can add some more text if you want it or just keep it like this. If you look at the Fiverr guidelines, you can see that rule number eight is use as little text as possible. They want you to keep it simple, avoid repeating text that's already somewhere in your gig card. They also tell you not to use Fiverr logos or badges. So if you add badges or logos like this, your gig will be flagged and removed. So make sure you don't do that. Also, they say be accurate. Don't use clickbait or any misleading content. And one thing that's really important that a lot of people 
don't realize is it's important what you name your image file as. So it says, make your gig easier to find by using a file name that's clear and relevant. This can be valuable for search engine optimization so your gig can be found in search results. So for example, if I go to this gig here, and you can see this guy is doing really well, if I right click on one of his images, copy image address, and then paste and go to it, you can see the file name of his image. Fix your blurry pictures and make them HD. Um, this guy here, his image file name is Enhance AI Art Fix Flaws and Edit Photos by Using AI. So Fiverr doesn't change your file name, so it's really important that your file name is not just image one. You want it to contain keywords that people will be searching for. So if I go back to my image, I can download it and then rename it, or if I want to download it with my file name already ready to go, right here beside my image icon, I can just rename this file to remove objects, people from background in images or image editing. And then to download it, share, download, and then I'm just going to click download. Okay, and just like that, we have our gig image. We also have it ready to go with our file name. And now that you have created this, this can be your template for other gig images. Within each gig, you can put multiple images, and I recommend you putting as many as you can. So what you could do here is right click on it, go duplicate, and now at the bottom, you can see you've got page one, page two. So you could go ahead, change the color, and change the color of all the different elements, upload new images, drag and drop other images, and use this as a template for all your before and after photos for your gig. You can also rename each image with something a little different so that you're targeting multiple keywords with each image for when people are searching for gigs. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something and you were able to see how easy it is to use Canva. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask me in the comments section below. I will be creating a tutorial on how to create your first gig with all the different steps now that we have our gig image and now that we've created our seller account. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.